one of the things I do is I plug my diet into this thing called chronometer. It's kind of like my fitness pal, but it's uh, more comprehensive in that it breaks down all of the micronutrients and minerals of your foods. So it shows what vitamins and minerals you're deficient in of your diet model. And then you can then backfill accordingly based on what you're deficient in. Wow. So that is typically what I would recommend too, because if you don't have the cofactors and substrate to actually produce the hormones, even if you're eating what you consider to be a good diet, it might be deficient in adequate zinc or it might be deficient in adequate bioavailable B vitamins or whatever. It would be worthwhile to kind of at least one time like flesh out if you follow a consistent diet, what does that yield in terms of all of the vitamins and minerals? And is that satisfactory for optimal hormone output? And that's where you can then determine like actual targeted supplementation. 